Thank you, Minister Don Farrell, for joining us in Xinhua. Relations between Canberra and Beijing have shown signs of improvement as Australia's exports to China hit a record high in March, and several Australian enterprises and associations have confirmed their participation in the sixth China International Import Export. So what do you think of the positive signs, and where is China-Australia relationship headed? Um, look, I'm very pleased that after a period of uh, uh, instability that we are now stabilising our relationship between Australia uh, and, uh, and China. Uh, this last 12 months has been a record year for uh, trade between uh, Australia and China, but we think we can do better. Um, we can uh, increase and improve that trade. My trip here at the invitation of uh, uh, Minister Wang Wen Tao uh, is to do exactly that. China's tourism and consumption have been firing on all cylinders during the just concluded May Day holiday. So, what do you think of China's economic revival for Australia and the world? Look, that's very good news for Australia mm -hmm. and uh, it's very good news for the world. Um, if, if we take tourism, Chinese people love coming to Sydney to see the Harbour Bridge, uh, the Opera House. We're very hopeful and very confident uh, that um, the wonderful places that Australia has to offer uh, will attract uh, lots and lots of Chinese uh, tourists to come back to our country and do what they did before the, uh, the pandemic, uh, which was uh, experience the wonderful wine and food in Australia. Australia forecasts first annual budget surplus in 15 years, partly due to the economic revival of China. And also China is Australia's largest trading partner and Australia is among the major suppliers of commodities for China. So is economic decoupling from China viable for Australia? No, no, Australia doesn't want to uh, decouple from, uh, from China. What Australia wants to do is to uh, improve our trading relationship with, uh, with China. Mm -hmm. We want to expand our trading relationship with, uh, with China. Mm -hmm. But you've mentioned our surplus. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons that we were able to come into surplus was in fact um, the terrific terms and trade uh, that we have received uh, over the last 12 months. Now, how do we build on that? How do we keep those surpluses coming? Mm -hmm. Well, we expand our trade. That means more trade with China. What areas could the two sides further collaborate, such as cultural exchange, environment protection and new energy? What do you think? Look, all of those will be uh, very important uh, projects uh, for the future. Uh, in the past, Australia has been a superpower in fossil fuel um, energy. Uh, but we know we have to decarbonise our economies. Mm -hmm. um, so Australia wants to become a renewable superpower. We believe that we can provide the world with clean energy into the future and we very much uh, look forward to working with China to, uh, to bring that about. So what kind of China-Australia relationship do you foresee and what will your government do to enhance the healthiness of this relationship? The new government the Albanese uh, Labor government uh, wants to uh, build a uh, stable and peaceful relationship uh, with, uh, with China. And one of the reasons mm -hmm. I'm here this week is to build upon that. Uh, it's been 50 years this month mm -hmm. since the first um, Australian trade minister uh, came to, uh, to China. Um, he was a Labor uh, minister, just like me. Mm -hmm. So we have a long history of good relations with, uh, with China. Uh, we want to build on the past so that we have a better relationship into the future.